GBT is up today 40%, almost 41%. It consolidates nicely. It tried to move lower and failed. Now it's getting back to the whole number. The high is 44.97, which is just a few cents before a whole number. I want to see it moving over a whole number, 45. Look at the sellers here. Now, as I saw the sellers moving over $45, I click the button. $45 as a whole number may be an issue. It didn't quite stop it now, as you can see. It moved really quick over the 45, but it has been stopped there before. Look at the consolidation here. Look at how many times it was stopped just below the $45 mark. Now, I was risking here a little bit more than a dollar, meaning moved up over $45, and the stop would have probably been at 44 or so, or just below. Oh, what a nice spike. Look at that. Just moved over 46 of selling. Okay, got myself a little bit more than a dollar. Left 200 shares out of my 2,000 shares, $2,500. I'm watching Win. Win is up uh, almost 10%, as you can see here. Nice consolidation here. If it moves over 120.50, I want to click the button. Now, notice this red candle right now. Stock is trying to move lower. Now, it may, it may succeed, I don't know. But if it's going to fail move lower, I want to buy it at 120.50, just above 120.50. Now, 0 0.50 is what we call a semi whole number. Earlier, we've seen a whole number. Now, look at it, it's getting close. If it's gonna move over 120.50, I wanna go. That means it failed to move lower. You see, it had several opportunities to move lower and it failed. Failure is the two red candles that you're seeing here. Now, if it's going to move over 120.50, I want to go long. And it just did, but I missed it. I missed it. If it's going to come down, I'm going to buy. And it does come down. I'm about to go long, going long now. Never chase a stock up. It just moved over 121. I did not click the button. I finally did as it moved down a little bit, which is very, very normal. Stocks usually do that once, once they go through. But... Um, a quick pullback just got me into this trade. So again, never chase a stock as it's moving away from you. If you miss the opportunity, just wait patiently. If it comes back down, that's great. If it doesn't, there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait. And now it's making quite a nice move. Look at LVS. Now LVS is a sister company of Win, Win Resorts. All of them, of course, Las Vegas companies, uh, casinos. So here we go, getting close to my target, getting ready to sell 300 shares, moving to market orders, that will be quicker. Don't want to see any pullback. Good. Now, I think I got like uh, one and a half point. That was a lovely trade. Disk. Disk is trending low. Stock is down 6%. Now, as you can notice, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to buy stocks that are up 40%, up 9%, down 6%. These are big movers. I'm getting ready to short, shorting now. I'm short 2,000 shares in disk. The trend is very, very clear. Stock is trending lower. Stop is, should be here, 2631. I don't, I don't give it much. Disk is not going anywhere. As you can see here, this is where I moved in, but it's really just going sideways. There's no reason to hold to a stock that is going sideways. Therefore, I am just about to lower my size. I'm going to lower it by 1,000 shares. I have 2,000 short. I'm lowering now, both. Covered 1,000 out of my 2,000 shares. And again, there's no reason to hold to stock that is not going your way. This going sideways, I'm lowering my size. Maybe I, maybe I should leave it all together. MAR looks great. Look at this 118 points. Stock is up 2.4%. And if it's going to move over this area right here i want to go long stock certainly tried to move lower several times failed returning and returning and i'm just about to go long if it moves over 118 getting ready i'm gonna go long 600 shares i like the technical formation here but i need to wait until it comes over 118 it's getting close watch the seller sides Right now, 117.94, 96, and 18. Click that button once it moved over 18. You want to make sure it's moving over whole number. MAR did a very nice job. Bought it just over 118. It's at 118.70 something right now. I'm getting ready for my partial. 
any pullback now. Well, I could probably get a little bit more out of that, but still was a nice trade, leaving 100 shares. BZUN, I want to go long, and again, stock is up, almost 7%. Now, nice consolidation here. It's not a big mover. Actually, it could be a big mover. I'm getting ready to go long 600 shares. Notice I'm lowering my size. I started with a great trade today and I'm not ready to give back my money to the market. So if BZUN is going to move here over 37.70, I want to go long. It's getting close now. Just did. That moved just out of this consolidation area and again proved to me that it wants to go higher. Well, this doesn't look good. One more cent and I'll be out. I have a hard stop here. And it looks like it may just trigger very, very now. Okay, I have a loser in this. Uh, it's a good thing that I reduced my size earlier. As you can see, stock is just not going anywhere. I've been trading for one hour. I just opened a trade in BZUN, which is down to $80. This was down. And several winners. GBT, $2,300. MAR, win. All nice trades. A little bit more winners and losers up. $2,000 in less than an hour. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.